Hey, Rude Rangers, Mr. Rudy, and boy, what a week it's been. The only thing that got me through was getting ready to read another chapter from the Book of Problems. Do you want to hear about somebody whose life is more jacked up than yours and mine? Let's do it. Hey, Rude Rangers, it's time to hear about people with problems from far and near. For most of them, there seems no hope. Some of these letters must be a joke. I must admit, at times I feel these letters we get, they can't be real. But take it from me, the letters are true, and I'm as shocked as most of you. I don't know why they're asking us, but help them out, we surely must. So sit right down, let's take a look at people with problems inside this book. Hey, Rude Rangers, Mr. Rudy here. Okay, new week, new problem. Let's go. Huh. Dear Rudy, I've been married for 10 years and together we have three fur babies. What is, uh, anyway, all right. I was introduced to him by my sister who met him first but said he wasn't her type. After dating for a while, he asked me to marry him and I said yes with no hesitation. We had an intimate wedding with plans on taking a cruise as our honeymoon. When my then fiance, now husband, suggested my sister and her boyfriend join us, I was put off a little bit but figured, what's the big deal? We're not going to see much of them. It's my honeymoon after all. I was so wrong. The guy my sister was dating broke up with her and came on the cruise, and she came on the cruise alone. Mm. Our honeymoon suite came with an attached guest room and my sister stayed there. I never said anything, but this bothered me because I wanted to be alone with my man. My husband and sister always woke up early, each day before I did, and by the time I got up, they had already had coffee, eaten breakfast, and had all kinds of one-on-one -on -one conversation. Rudy. I felt like a guest at my own damn honeymoon. I can admit I was very jealous of the time and attention my husband showed my sister and I told her to give my husband some space. She said that she would and I thought things were good. Turns out she didn't stop hanging out with him. She just started hiding it from me. I went over to her apartment one day and my husband's jacket was on the dining room chair. She said he let her wear it when they met for lunch and she was cold. Okay. I had no idea they went out and she said it's no big deal because being with him was like spending time with our brother. I demanded that the secret meeting stop and she told me she doesn't need my approval to hang out with my husband. Realizing that I was getting nowhere with her, I left there, called my husband from the car, and demanded that we discuss the situation with my sister and all their secret rendezvous. He tried brushing me off the phone, saying we can talk about it when he gets home. Rudy, that was four days ago, and he hasn't been home since. He's now staying at his mother's, and whenever I call or try to stop by, all he says is he doesn't want to argue, so he'd rather not talk. Do you think he's doing my sister? How should I handle this situation? Signed, my sister's with my mister. <sighs> Does this even require a letter? All right, since you wrote, I'm obligated to respond, so I'm gonna give it to you. Okay, um, I think at the time, he probably wasn't your sister's type, but somewhere between the engagement and the wedding, and possibly on your honeymoon, he became her type. If there are secret meetings and he's loaning jackets and nobody can tell you if it, what is it, walks like a duck and quacks like a duck and swims like a duck, it's a duck. It's a duck and the two of them are, oh, well, sorry, don't want this to get censored. Um, you know what? <laughs> Let him stay at his mother's. You might want to tell your mother about your trifling sister and 
I think that maybe both of them should be put on pause. This all just sounds ridiculous and doesn't make any sense to me. The man clearly has no regard for your feelings because he clearly knew he was sneaking around with your sister. And she, as your sister, owes it to you to have a little bit more loyalty. If she expressed that it was a problem, she should have been respectful of your feelings and, and, and just, you know, taking care of things. The whole thing is a mess. Get rid of them both, in my opinion. If anybody else has some suggestions, please drop down in the comment section and share what they should do. But I'm too old at this age and stage in life to be tolerating a whole lot of nonsense. So to me, they can both go. Um, also, this fur baby thing. Are those dogs? Are those cats? What? What's a fur baby? I, I'm not up on all the stuff, so I would love to know that one too. I do appreciate that you wrote to me. I hope that this sister-husband situation gets better. Do you all spend holidays together? Because I don't know if I could have this in the back of my mind while someone, you know, carving up the turkey and Uncle Joe was drunk in the corner and all that other mess is going on. Because this did be a big old fight going on in the middle of... Uh, Kawanza. So anyway, do me a favor. Those of you watching, again, drop down in the comments. If you've got a problem or you've got some suggestions, email us at programming at rudrangers.com and do me a huge, huge favor. Follow us on Instagram, check us out on Twitter, subscribe to our YouTube, and we are, of course, on Facebook. I love you for watching. I hope your sister thing really does get better. Thank you for writing. And I don't think I solved your problem. I, I don't know. I tried. What can I do? You wrote to me. Love you.